What's up? So this video is just to show some of the basic supplies and packaging that you might need as a reseller. I think for a lot of like new resellers, packaging and shipping is one of those things that seems hard to figure out, but really it's pretty easy. Like the basics of it is just find a box or an envelope big enough to ship your item out. And that's about it, right? Um, but yeah, I'll show you the packaging and supplies that I usually keep on hand. And keep in mind too that the stuff that I sell is typically like smaller items, maybe like shirts, clothing, supplements, things like that, books, because they're easy to store. I don't have like a ton of space to store items and I don't like having a bunch of clutter laying around the house. So I kind of try to tuck them away in dressers. I think that's good too, because newer resellers, that might be good items to start out with anyway. And then once you kind of get familiar with shipping, selling through eBay, then you kind of move on to bigger items as you get more experience and you figure out how to ship those as well. All right, here we go. One of the main items you need is a printer, shipping invoices, shipping labels. I do have this label printer, but you don't really need it. I just kind of have it because it's a nice to have, but don't feel like you need one right off the bat when you're reselling. Before I get into packaging like envelopes and boxes that you should have, I'll just get into some basic supplies. Um, a ruler and a scale, good way to just measure your items out. That way you can calculate out your shipping costs in eBay. Um, a little weight scale here. Yeah, that way you can just calculate out the weight, put it in eBay. You'll know how much your item will be to ship. Some tape. I really like this tape, the Easy Start Heavy Duty by Duck. It doesn't tear very easily and it's super quiet when you're using it. It doesn't screech very loudly. A uh, random assortment of poly mailers. Um, I just like using these when I have more expensive items that I'm shipping out. I like to double package them first, so that way if the main box gets wet, you kind of have this as a second layer of protection. Utility or a box knife. Uh, these are nice because if you have a box that's a little bit oversized for your item, you can cut it down a little bit and get it really nicely packed. Got some bubble wrap. I get my bubble wrap from the dollar store just because it comes in these very small rolls. And if you get bubble wrap from Walmart or other shipping supply stores, like they're gonna come in huge rolls. And lastly, wrapping paper. I get this from U-Haul and it's probably about one of the cheapest ways to fill empty space in your boxes. Um, and this is what it's like. But yeah, it's a good way just to protect items and fill space. And that does it for supplies. On to the packaging. So what I'm showing you here will probably cover about 90 to 95% of the items you'll ship as just kind of like a side hustle reseller. So let's go down the line here. All right, starting over here is this four by seven bubble mailer. I really just use these for shipping out supplements. Um, that's about all that really fits in here for me that I sell. Over here is a nine by five bubble mailer. Um, I really only use these to ship supplements that don't fit in this envelope. Over here is probably the most used envelope that I, I have. It's a 10 by 13 poly mailer and it's just, yeah, super thin water resistant mailer. This is going to be good for clothing that is under a pound for the most part, like your t-shirts, shorts. Moving on is a 10 by 15 bubble mailer. Um, I really don't use these super often. I would only use these um, for kind of like larger clothing that's still under a pound. Um, maybe like baseball gloves, things like that. And then I'll show you kind of one of the other main shipping items that I use. It's this padded flat rate envelope from USPS. One of the greatest things is that these are free. So anything that is over a pound that you can fit in here, highly recommend using this because it'll be the cheapest way to ship it. I think right now the going rate's like $9.65 and through eBay you usually get a little bit of a discount. So yeah, I would say anything that you can fit in here that's over a pound, use this envelope. Here's another great box to have on hand is this shoe box. So yeah, a lot of resellers ship shoes and USPS has a box just for shoes. Um, here's the dimensions over here. It's like seven by five by 14 pretty much. And another thing that you can do here is if you have bigger items, you can actually tear these apart here and get another box, do the same thing, and you can tape them back up and make a bigger box out of two boxes. So that's super handy to do. And you can only do that with the regular priority mail. Don't do that with a flat rate box.
Hi, working the other end of the table is this box that's eight by six by four. These are super great to have for shipping hats. Um, I only ship hats in these boxes. I don't like shipping hats in one of these other softer envelopes because I don't want the bills getting crushed or anything during shipping because you never know how USPS is going to handle your items. So highly recommend having these on hand if you're planning to sell hats. And I usually get them from Staples, I'm pretty sure, in like a pack of 20 or 25. And the last box that I mainly use is this long boy here, 6x6x48. Six six I use these pretty much to ship out golf clubs and baseball bats. And what I would do too is if you have a club or bat that's shorter than this, I would just size it out appropriately, use a box cutter, and cut off the edge that you don't need. That way you can get everything nice and fitted into the box. But these you can usually get from Staples as well. Um, they are a little pricier. I think they can run about like 250 to three bucks per box and you usually have to buy in quantities of like 20 or 25. But one thing I recommend is Staples usually has a coupon where if you buy for over $60, you can usually take $15 off that amount. So if you buy like these boxes and these boxes at the same time, you can usually get a set of both for about 45 bucks total and that'll help kind of reduce your shipping costs there. All right, well, that's like the main stuff that I use. So one last thing, if you're struggling finding a box, I would just recommend going behind a Dollar Tree or a strip mall because they're always throwing away boxes and you can just grab those for free. I hate paying for boxes. UPS is super expensive. If you really have to pay for a box, just go to like a Dollar Tree or Walmart and source a box or an envelope from there. I'll leave the like links in the description for all the packaging materials that I just showed you. You can usually pick them up for like a decent price online. You do have to kind of order in bigger quantities, like maybe a hundred or so, but they still don't take up a ton of space or room in your house. Um, and I would definitely recommend having those on hand. Uh, that way, like when you sell an item, you just turn around and you can ship it and you've got all the supplies right there to ship it rather than you sell an item and then you go around town looking for a box or an envelope because that's just a big waste of time. I really hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please show it just by hitting that like button over there. Um, I usually do post videos of me thrifting or going to the bin stores to resell stuff on eBay and Amazon. If you're into that kind of content, please subscribe to follow my channel and I will see you on the next one.